Hello, mate. How are you? Great. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've just. I've just. It's been a long day for me, mate. I've just got back from uh, the uh, protest today in London. Oh yeah. Did you have a nice time? I won't say it was a nice time exactly. It was a, a very stressful time. Well, whose side were you on? Were you, were you holding a banner? Yeah, I was holding a Black Lives Matter de- uh, banner. And, um, okay. So, yeah, I was just feeling a bit of a, a shame with what I said with the far right racists chanting such things as we were never asked. Don't tell us. Don't tell us. Yeah, yeah well, 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 it wasn't. I'm not going to say anything uh, bad. Just they were chance to dump two callers in a row, two in a row on the Nicky Abbott show. <laughs> no, oh, no wait, I, I won't swear. I promise. Yeah, they were chanting things like we were never asked, and we're England, we're English till we die. And I find this very racist. To be fair, we're England. Well, yeah, we're English till we die, and yeah, but, but that's just a statement of fact. Yeah, they, 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 they were doing multiple things that were offensive to us. Um, oh, okay. For instance, obviously, we were never asked, was uh, sung to us a lot. Where were you here last week to the police officers was sung. Um, and I just don't think... Well, I'm, I'm a bit confused by that. Why did they pick on the police? Because uh, I would have thought that, you know, being patriots and all, that they would have been supporting the police. But well, they seem to be... Um, a, that, that seemed to be their first order of the day. Let's attack the police. What was that about? Exactly. That's what I was confused about when they were singing songs like Where Were You Last Week? I was very confused at that because obviously the police was there last week. So I was yeah. very confused at that. And um, obviously I know a few of them was attacked afterwards. And uh, I don't think they can uh, really complain when they're saying a such... Few of, a few of who were attacked? Uh, well, a few of the the far right was attacked towards uh, the end, but I don't I don't well, mind about I'm that. I'm sure a lot of pe- a lot of people got attacked by a lot of other people. I yeah, don't think it, I, was, it was all in the one direction. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they I don't think they have a leg to stand on when they're shouting things like they're going to be a minority by twenty sixty six and patriotic alternative will ensure that doesn't happen. I think same racist comments like that they deserve to get attacked. Do you not think with this fascism attitude? Right. Well, I. Uh, I've got no idea I wasn't there and to be honest I, I kind of missed what you just said there so I assume that it's okay because my glamorous assistant didn't dump you yeah it was okay I'm just, I'm just, I'm just... in his hands so <laughs> where were you then? yeah I was just with the Black Lives Matter and um, it you was all where though? Yeah, I was in Trafalgar Square, and uh, okay. obviously they were chanting things like, we will be a minority by 2066 and uh, we were never asked uh, yeah, by were ne- lo- they were never asked what? I don't know. I don't really understand what they're saying. They, they, <laughs> so I, I'm with you on this one. They kept chanting, we were never asked by Laura Towler. Yeah, and they kept chanting, we were never asked by Laura Towler, whoever this woman is, and something about patriotic alternative. So I don't really know but um, what they, they were done about. Some, some of them seem to be a little bit confused because on the one hand, they seemed to be all behind the, um, you know, the officers of the state and, you know, Her Majesty the Queen and everything that goes with that. But on the other hand, they were fighting with the the, um, the, the embodiment of that state, which were the police themselves. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, what, the one thing I do side with them is... Uh, I didn't notice it because I was there last week as well. And what was confusing about this week was uh, they had uh, the police had riot gear this week and last week yeah. they never had riot gear. They pretty much let us run riots around the cap- capital city. That was a bit confusing. Uh, you, but were, I thought, you were allowed to run riot. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, uh, obviously, because I'm still from Britain and I support the Black Lives Matter, but I, I see multiple people burning, well, attempting to burn the UK flag. And that was right. one. And, uh, and today... And, and, and that, the pl- that, to me, doesn't constitute running riot, but, but anyway. Well, what? they did run riot because um, police, police were running away from the Black Lives Matter movement. And mm-hmm. I didn't quite understand. But I thought the police done very well today because, they obviously, they learned from last week's mistakes. They bought yeah. riot gear with them today. So I give them credit mm-hmm. today. I was, um, right. But I'm, I'm for a peaceful movement. I'm for the Black Lives Matter movement. But last week wasn't so peaceful. Uh, and today, I thought they'd done well because they bought the right gear with them today. Right. Did you um, take all your rubbish home with you? I always no. take my rubbish home with me. Did you? Right. <laughs> well, that's just you then, because I passed piles of the stuff on the way in here. 
Well, yeah, well, maybe just maybe just me. Pretty much every single po- police person that well, I've ever well, seen, to be fair, there was quite there were well, I'm not going to lie, there was quite a few rubbish on the floor, uh, like signs saying "stand up for racism," things like that. They were, they were chucked on the floor, to be fair. Yeah. So, um, but I, I, I believe. The, the, the Nazis actually I've got to give the Nazis a lot of credit they they <laughs> behave quite well for Nazis yeah for, na- for Nazis they actually behave quite well uh, today as far as the Nazis go they were very well behaved Nazis they were very well behaved Nazis well, you had one or two scuffles today, Nazis, but uh, right, th- thanks a lot Paul 0345 6060973 uh- Another excellent gripe here by Chris, and he has really come on leaps and bounds since he first began his fledgling griping career. But my main takeaway for this video is that I think this indicates going forward our best strategy is to simply adopt the avatar of the far left, of the anti-racist activist. Because as you can see, it allows you to deliver the vital red pilling information. 2066 minority, Laura Taylor, we were never asked. People, once they hear this, will Google, they will search these terms. And of course, this is in opposition to the idea of going into these encounters with the argumentative, confrontational oh, debate. Oh, I hate Black Lives Matter. Oh, I hate the far left. I hate the media. Once you do that, you are then on the back foot and the host will see you as far right and they will seek to shut you down. That's how it works. And of course, an added bonus to being on the far left is you are actually allowed to say your piece. You can speak for 20, 30, 40 seconds at a time without being interrupted. But if you're on the far right, you will have constant interruptions. I'm sure you have heard the the typical Majid Nawaz debate where you might be able to speak for five, ten seconds, if that. And in that situation, you can't do anything. It's pointless. The final advantage to being on the left is that you won't have your number blacklisted, which means you can ring in multiple times because you might have one great confrontation, one really fiery debate. But if you're banned, what's the point? because you'd rather have multiple attempts to deliver the great information. And so for me, you want to make this as easy as possible and as accessible for new people. If they're banned instantly, they will give up because sadly, most people are lazy. So anyway, I will leave it there for now. But once again, top griping by Chris. And to anyone listening, please have a go yourself. Ring in to LBC Talk Radio. Just do it. Like, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe. Please comment. Ilu Sassoon. Peace out.